I'm about to try and beat this March on Titan raid event on Elite. But I was struggling a lot with it at first, but I think I finally found a way to be able to do this without struggling too much. And it's pretty easily farmable. So to start us off, this is the team that I was going to use. And it's really important to have two people who can cure Petrify, because he can only pure Petrify one person a turn. But if you have two of them, then they can cure each other. Unfortunately, I don't have multiple people who can revive and that's really a really nice thing to have overall. Uh, the Lunath is just here for a little extra damage, but Fryavia is here for the big damage. The Rim and the Menphilia will be here mainly to do the petrification healing and to do the buffing. And Cecil is there for backup healing. That's extremely necessary in this, just in case the main healer goes down. So to start, here is the equipment and the abilities of each character that I'm going to try and use. So this is basically my main thing with Fryavia, is just giving her a lot of magic and then some backup attack just because she scales off of it. And then for her abilities, it's just huge magic buffs all across the board. Rem, I just gave her some throwaway stuff, just enough to help her survive. I've got Siphon Delta, and Siphon Delta for the uh, arena battles, which I'll probably do in another video. And then just giving her the double daggers, giving her all kinds of stuff just to give her a little bit more survivability. But as you can tell, this is a lot of throwaway stuff. Uh, Cecil will have more or less a bunch of throwaway defense and armor gear. You can tell that it just you don't really need to give him that crazy of stuff. Here's just giving him a little more HP. First strike allows him to more or less negate certain attacks and then attack back. Minfilia again. The protection of the gods is actually one of the best things, and you'll probably see that proc a couple times. But for the most part, just giving her a little bit more tankiness and a little bit more robustness. And so other than that, you can see it's all mainly throwaway items. And again, just giving him attack. Like, he doesn't really have that great of stuff, and he's not really contributing much to the game, but he's there for a little bit more damage. I have access to some better people, but... All you really need is an Orlando to be able to throw down some breaks. But the main strategy here is you need to break his, you need to break uh, Titan's attack and magic, and you want to buff your defense and SPR at all times. So in order to do that, the first thing we'll start off with is an attack and magic break. We'll have Minfilia boost the defense and SPR of everybody. Cecil can attack. Lunith can just throw an attack because they're not really doing anything. And Rim, I'm pretty sure we can just let her attack as well. There's really no reason. I mean, I guess she could throw the magic buff down. No really reason she could. And of course, Varavia's going to use her best attack. See how far that gets us. Alright, so now he's going to attack back. And we're going to have Cecil there doing almost all of the actual damage. Or all the actual protecting. Almost no damage taken. So we're going to just move on to a simple heal. Minfili can do the mega buff for attack and magic. And everyone else can basically do the stuff they usually do. I have him set off the Divine Runation and have everyone else back him up. Alright, so we're doing pretty well. Let's see what he can throw down. Not that much damage overall. I has Minfilia's buff going off. So we'll just have her Kiraja again. I don't even know what that does. I'm not even going to and for the most part, everyone else seems to be doing just fine. I'm going to boost the magic of my Fravia. And I'm going to go off again. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Alright, doing a little bit more. Luckily he hasn't petrified yet. Oh, there he goes. Who did he petrify? Nobody, I guess? Alright, excellent. 
So then now we're just going to go for a double heal here. We'll make sure that's enough to bring everyone back to full. Let's see. I'm kind of afraid to let... I'm going to put the defense buff back up. And I'm going to have the break happen again. And otherwise, everyone else is just going to attack normal. Everyone's at full health, so everyone's good to go. The main important part here is to make sure that he always has the attack and magic broken, and that you always have the defense and SPR up. Past that, it's really just getting the damage out, and making sure that you can deal with petrification. I'm getting really lucky, and no one's getting petrified. But just in case it were to happen, Rim and Manphilia would both have that ability. Rim has the healing prayer that can heal Petrify, and Minfilia has log logistical support. But other than that, this looks like it's a, basically a win. Something terrible happens, this should all clear up pretty easy. And I'll have her put the attack buff back up. And we can really get some damage. I'll see if we can get a nice chain going finish this off. Strong ability. And that should be... I might have him actually do something that'll help us chain out. We're gonna have this go off. This, this, this. Oh, too bad. The lady did not have to wield like I thought he would. And that's it. That's all you really need to do to win this.